the college basketball experience NCAA tournament bracket instant reaction show on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by cut cut is a peer to peer social betting platform. That's us based and available in Florida different states head to cut.com. That's K U T T.com. Use that promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. Rasa brought to you by underdog fantasy play their fantasy pickup for a chance to win a hundred times the amount of money you could enter at NBA, NHL, college basketball, and much, much more sign up today. Using the promo code SGPN, you get a hundred percent deposit match. We're also brought to you by champs run your own March madness pool and enter champs free bracket contest for a chance to win a thousand dollars. Go to sports gambling podcast.com slash champs to enter today. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame bets. Yes, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today, people. And remember, as always, folks, to let it ride. What's up, everybody? This is Cameron Crowe from Loyola Chicago Ramblers, and you're listening to. SGPN, let it ride. Shout out to the broad stop. Thank you guys. youtube.com slash the college experience. Get on over there. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We have got a lot of shit to talk about here. Uh, if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, uh, my name is Kobe swing and database dad, AKA pick Don D that's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. When I think of the committee that did this. And you are nothing but a chameleon, lemon-headed, coward, terrorist pussy. And I'm after you, buddy. You're going to pay for it. Good night. I can't wait. If you're watching on YouTube.com, you know that I'm with, well, the crew. You, if you've been following us for years, all... Uh, all professors at DGNU, in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, this is the worst job the committee's done in well over a decade. We'll get to it. I am joined by my co-host. He is live from Las Vegas, Cal- California. No, Nevada. Uh, I, it's been. A, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Uh, give it up for. Former, former video coordinator for Hall of Fame coach Bob Huggins and Frank Martin, host of the Big 12 College Experience, host of the Ryan and Rush Show. Give it up for Ryan McIntyre, a.k.a. Money Line Mac. How you doing, brother? Doing good, man. Uh, in Las Vegas, was in a good mood, had a four in one day, and then the bracket was released, and I was pissed off again. So happy uh, Selection Sunday, everybody. Cheers. Mac tonight. Come on, make it Mac tonight. All right, we are also joined by, uh, well, a slew of people. This guy here. Well, I, I guess let's introduce the guy who's live in a fucking airport. Cause he can, we can lose. This is like, this is like uh, if, is there a hurricane coming? I'm live here in the airport getting down there. Everyone's leaving. Uh, the host of the college baseball experience. Noah Beanick. How you doing buddy? Uh, you in the, uh, you pay, you, you pay a little extra to sit in that section. No, I'm sitting in the cafeteria. Uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, we have bracket, best time of the year. I will say, airport's probably a little bit better than the middle of the highway in Tennessee, like I was last year. And then I was in a racing canes giving out my final four picks. So uh, that, right. that was an you experience keep it classy last here. year. So I think I like this setup a little bit better. But, yes, sorry it, about any outside noise. but I'm, Is I'm that why you pick go. Purdue? <laughs> I mean, but, am I the only one that, that, in this stream? stream? Everybody knows the national champion pick already. <laughs> yeah, probably. 
All right, we are joined by we are joined by the host of the NBA Gambling Podcast, the host of the WNBA Gambling Podcast, also on the NFL Gambling Podcast. What do you got to start right here? Give it up for Terrell Furman Jr., aka Really Rail, aka the villain. How you doing? And oh. uh, it's gr- great to be here, right? Yeah, yeah, it's good to be here. I brought my professor glasses just so I could take them off and look at you and say, <laughs> no way. They allowed JMU to be a 12 seed <laughs> and Duquesne in 11. I mean, first of all, they deserved way better than a 12, but they have so much better light years better than Duquesne. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fix yeah. It. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. We'll get into that in a second here because that that's fucking ridiculous. But we're joined by our last man in, in the booth here. Uh, the DFS God himself. Give it up for the rooftop by PA drinking home brew making tobacco road living. A free lock given. Former, former Herndon Basketball League MVP. Give it up for NC Nick in the place to be. There we go. What's up, guys? Oh, man. So now we got everybody. We got everybody introduced. Now, uh, I'll hold for mine. I'm going to, I'm going to be nice and give you guys the floor first. Mac, your first thoughts on this, uh, on this, on this bracket being released. Yeah. You know, I came prepared, took a bunch of notes while the bracket was coming out. Fuck you, committee. Are you fucking kidding me with this Mountain West fucking uh, disrespect? The fact that New Mexico would not have been in the field if they didn't win that tournament is a joke. Colorado State and Boise State freaking having to play playing games? Get out of here, man. And then everybody points to their past uh, failures in the tournament. Well, what happened last year? San Diego State played in the goddamn national championship. You know, once upon a time, there was a league called the Big 12 where they struggled in the first rounds, and then they broke down the door. The Mountain West is getting ready to break down the door either this year or the years to come. They got fucking screwed, though, with some of these draws. And, you know, the better the draw you get, the more likely you are to advance, too. The more teams you get, the more likely you are to advance. Yeah, if you add extra games, the harder it is. Yeah, (laughs) and some of these teams we'll talk about overseeded. Uh, FAU, Sparty, Dayton, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. The one Uh, crazy thing with, with the Mountain West is that San Diego State got a five seed. You and know, they didn't com- win the regular season. They didn't win their nope. tournament. Huh. So for all the Mountain West seeds that were unfairly treated, I think they got the benefit of the doubt, maybe just because of their run last year. I don't know. But I certainly don't see why some of these Mountain West schools are 10 seeds and San, San Diego State's a five seed. They should all be yeah. a lot tighter in than that. Well, especially when the they don't win we, either. What's that? The fact we even have San Diego State and UAB as a game. Like, how did that even opportunity become a game? Like, this they should be on opposite sides of the ledger here. Yeah, I mean, uh, un- unbelievable to me. I thought the Mountain West, that's the, the first thing that stood out to me was, like, the complete disrespect of the Mountain West, putting them in play in games. What? Um, you know, I'll talk some more about where I feel like the teams that, you know, should have been in, in play in games. But, Terrell, what was your first reaction? I think we already kind of got it, but you could dive a little deeper into that. No, I just JMU. JMU just got disrespected as for for somebody who is an A10 guy. I understand you have so much gr- good A10 hoops. I feel like they overvalue Dayton and Duquesne just by default. <laughs> Duquesne was nowhere even in consideration for this tournament. Dude, <laughs> nowhere in consideration for this tournament. And they go and they beat VCU. They go on a run and win the A10. And now they're an 11. <laughs> In 11, Dude. like there's so many other people that were pushed down because of Duquesne. I grew up loving the Atlantic 10. It's one of my favorite conferences, but this is bullshit. What did the Atlantic 10 do to the committee? Did they pick up the, the hotel room. The, what, 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 what the fuck is this? I mean, not only Duquesne, but Dayton, I wouldn't even put Dayton in the NCAA tournament. Their best. And, and here's the best part about it. If you look at Dayton's resume, their best win is St. John's who's not in the NCAA tournament or, or I guess you're they're, they're two and one record against Duquesne since you value <laughs> Duquesne so well. Um, no, like. But uh, I, what the fuck is this a 10 nonsense? Uh, this was a down year for the a 10. In my opinion, I thought yeah. this was the a 10 yeah. was way down compared to other guy. years. Yeah, I'm me too. Me too. Yes. I love the a 10. I love all the schools. It was a down year in the a 10. Uh, shocked by those two. Noah, what was your first reaction to uh, to uh, everything there in the or when you first saw the bracket? I, I kind of expected it coming, but I feel like a lot of talk has been like, how in the world are some of these 
bowl teams, like nine and ten seeds. Uh, the other thing is the uh, Colorado, the state of Colorado, and also the Mountain West uh, in Dayton for the first four. You have both Colorado and Colorado State in opposite matchups there, uh, and then Colorado's playing Boise State. Colorado State's playing Virginia, Virginia a team that I didn't have uh, in the field, um, and also just the fact that. Colorado and Boise State, I thought were pretty comfortable. Like I knew they were on the bubble, but I thought they weren't really nervous about getting in. Um, and Michigan State, I felt like should have been in the first four. Um, and you know, there's a couple other ones that Texas A and M probably could have been a first four team rather than Boise State. <laughs> Texas A and M one. That's my first takeaways. <laughs> Um, win a yeah. game now. Watch. I mean, uh, look, I am a Colorado Buffalo fan. NC Nick can attest to this. Uh, growing up, I was, uh, you know, back to the days of Donnie Boyce and and Sean Van Divier. But, and and I think this is the most talented roster Colorado's ever had. I would have put Seton Hall, Providence, St. John's over them. I think I think their resume is better. I think they're better basketball teams this year. Watching all, watching all year. Uh, what's up, Mac? Colby, is it a coincidence? And I know you mentioned this in the pre pre show. The two leagues that got screwed the most, the Big East and the Mountain West, both that aren't big football leagues. Yeah, but the football. The, 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 you gotta you gotta open up your third eye. Related to this. Oh, I I firmly believe that. I firmly believe that. When I saw Texas A and M, just when I saw Texas A and M land the nine seed, I go, "Get the fuck out of here, man!" <laughs> like, yeah. This is this is the power play. This is what I, I want you to open. This is what I want people to to notice is that it's a fucking sham to a certain extent. Like I don't believe in any of their fucking metrics. I I I put my tinfoil hat on. I fucking wear it all day with that with that with. The A and M one, I also thought Mississippi State, which I know they got that nice win against Tennessee. I still thought they're overseeded. And the big one to me is Michigan State, because <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they don't even. What's their best road win? I would love Noah. What is Michigan State's best road win? You think Minnesota? You're putting me on the spot. We talked about this last night. We weren't. It, it was so. it was Minnesota. It was Minnesota. That, no, no, that, no, no. They didn't win at Minnesota. They won at. Um, they didn't win at Illinois, right? Did they win at Illinois? No. no. They oh. Maryland on the road. Maryland. It was Maryland. 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 Maryland or Penn State. Yep. What are we doing here? What Dang. like how, how you you got to be able to see that this is bullshit. You know what I mean? Like this is the football money, the the Big Ten and SEC's domination coming in and fucking this up. But uh, NCAA it's only going to get worse. It's only yeah. going to get worse. You know. Overall, I mean, Colby, you're not happy every tournament selection Sunday. Because, <laughs> yeah. 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 No, 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 no. But this year is way worse than last year. This year, I, I already, uh, last year, what was my argument that Xavier should have been in? Right? Yeah. I mean, that was, this one is like, what? Right. This one that they fucked up on like 20 fucking things. So, yeah. So obviously the big East it's so only getting three teams in that's probably the lowest ever for the big East. I would assume I, I, I don't have that, you know, stat handy if it's true or not, but I mean, only three is, is crazy. Um, so yeah, and then Big Ten and SEC teams overseeded. Yeah, I mean, I, Dayton. I, I we need to study Dayton. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I, I, it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, like. I'm looking at their. I'm looking at their schedule right now. They have their best win is St. John's. O outside of that, the only other teams that made the tournament they beat Longwood, they beat Duquesne. <laughs> Longwood. <laughs> They lost. I mean, uh, and Duquesne to Terrell's point, lost to lost to fucking Davidson, and uh, and uh, what's 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 the uh, Fordham Davidson and Fordham, and they get a better seed than JMU, who won in East Lansing, who Michigan State they gave a great seed to. It makes no sense if you're going to give them the great seed, then JMU should be honored for for beating this this great <laughs> Michigan State team that you're referring to. And if you're not um, going to put St. John's in the tournament, then that win is not that great anymore. Yes. <laughs> no. It, it, it's it's comical that you know seven, like seven, seven. Yeah. JMU's a seven. I mean, JMU. Rather, almost, if you made JMU a seven, I wouldn't even be shocked. But come on. JMU almost went undefeated. Can we talk about that? They almost went undefeated, and Duquesne got hot in the tournament. 
And that's just like, oh yeah, the game, the game's better than uh, than James Madison. Yeah, who, yeah, who's had a better year? I mean, come on. <laughs> Un fucking believable. We lost Beanick. Uh, or he's going to grab some more nachos, something like that. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I just think this is a horrible. I know. I, look, I, I I was angry last year. I thought Xavier should have been in. I thought they proved it when they won the fucking. Or that was two years ago. That was two years ago. Last year, I don't even think I was that upset. I forget. Let, Two you years ago, was last saying. year, you didn't, yeah. you didn't make a fuss last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is the worst one they've done in fucking recent memory. Recent memory. Maybe in the mid 2000s, I remember p- being super pissed off at one. So um, what's the one team that did not get in that you think should have got in? Is it St. John's? Is no. It Indiana State? Providence. I, I, really? I, th- I think Seton Hall. <laughs> Yeah, Even, I think they both should have been in. I, I know. I really Seton Hall, Seton Hall, not making it. They, they I think deserved so another team holiday one. Dude, what's crazy is Seton Hall. Even though I know that they like they were really hot in the middle of the year and they haven't been as hot lately, I still feel like the right Brett. Like I, you could, you could, uh, someone could tell me, Colby, what, could you see Seton Hall in the Final Four? And I'm like, yeah, sure. They had injuries too. I mean, their best player, yeah. Larry Richmond, was out for a yeah. while. Up, for a couple weeks or so. <laughs> now, if you look at Lenardi's last bracketology, the only team that he had in that didn't make it was Oklahoma. Is which there we right talk, there? Which, which we talked about. As a Big 12 guy, I thought maybe they should have been in, but I also didn't like the way that they finished the season. I w- w- They kind of went the load management route in the conference tournament and kind of played not to lose. They lost, what? Four out of five down the stretch, five out of seven. Um, I know they were banged up and they weren't the same team, um, but still, like I, I felt like they they needed another win, and they I felt like they they knew they were going to lose to TCU, so they kind of played the excuse route of resting their guys, and it ended up biting them. Uh, Colby, last year was Oklahoma State that got jobbed. That was the team that got jobbed. Last yeah, year. that's yeah. what we were bitching yeah. about last year. Um, but still, that was just one team. Deserved and seed. Seton Hall yeah. deserves beat and seed. Dude, uh, UConn Hall. and Marquette. UConn and Marquette. You f- forget Marquette. UConn. There's only three other. There's only two other teams. Two. And Creighton. Well, that's it. UConn, well, uh, Marquette, is... Creighton. One, two, three seeds. They don't have. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm saying. Was... Compare, <laughs> compare <laughs> Dayton. What, what compare do? Dayton. They have Dayton as a seven seed. They have Dayton as a seven seed. Compare Dayton's resume. To, to Seton Hall's and, and it's, it's mind numbing to me. It's like, what? Wait, who's who is? Do they watch college basketball? Yeah. Do they have they watched Seton Hall this year because they're way better than fucking Dayton? Um. Can yeah. And, Port and, Atlantic. And, yeah. What do you want to say about them? We did last night. Yeah, but the, the more and more you, you dove in on them, I they lost to Bryant. They lost to Bryant. They lost to Temple. Yeah, they got the Arizona win, but you look at some of these big – They de- do they deserve to be in over those Big East teams? I don't think so. And for them to be an eight seed again and San Diego State to be a five seed again, it was almost like they just looked at last year's bracket and goes, all right, kids, put them as the eight seed, put them as the five seed. That sounds good. <laughs> Nobody's paying attention. They might as well just put Miami as a five seed. They would have had the whole Final Four again, right? <laughs> I mean, that's a good point because Florida doing? Atlantic did not win the regular season or the tournament. They're they're definitely overseeded as an eight seed. They probably should have been a, a double digit seed. These people don't watch college basketball all year. There's that's, also that's the only thing to, I can... the committee creates the bracket prior to the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Which FAU is retarded. Their, How do we it, play? Is, it is. It's so dumb. Yeah. FAU took one of their worst losses of the year to Temple on Saturday. And it may not have been accounted for. But still, FAU didn't even win the regular season title. In the AAC, South Florida did. How can how can they have that penciled in? Then I don't I I don't I don't understand it. Uh, and, and, folks. and it goes to the one seed too, Colby. Real quick, like Iowa State not moving up at all after being Houston by thirty, then putting them in UConn's bracket as the last number two seed. Like, what the fuck was the point of playing the Big Twelve tournament if you can't move the needle at all? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the games this past weekend are some of the most biggest and most important games all year long, and for them not to matter seems crazy. <laughs> I, it's not that hard. I don't understand. This isn't Lazy. like if we took all of us right now and we had all day today, <laughs> you know, to sit there and, and come up with 68 teams, I think we could do it in a much more logical way. It, you don't need to have this thing ready a week ago. 
You know what I mean? This is not a super it, difficult exercise, in my opinion. There's um, only five games on a Sunday, so you have like contingency plans. If this team wins, are right, you yes. plug them in here? If not, you shake it up a little bit. You plug them in there. Yeah. Like, how do you just assume a team is going to go in and win the win the game? Like, there's no chance, no possible chance that they're not going to win the game. Like, I'm talking about. I mean, as much as I'm a Steve guy, yeah, that, 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 that line was like two guy. points. It was a chance. It was a chance. <laughs> There's no reason you should have thought VCU was just automatically going to win. And they, got a bunch, they got a bunch of fucking Long Beach State ADs on the fucking committee that just say, oh, yeah. fire him. He, he won't win the conference tournament. And then he <laughs> shoves it right up their ass and he's dancing. Dude, this is the worst job him. they've done in a long time. I mean, I know I talk shit about him all the time because I feel like they don't watch basketball. I feel like they have an easy job to do. Just and an awesome job to do because we do it here and we watch college basketball nonstop. So it's not that hard to do. You just, if, if you, if you're not qualified, you shouldn't be on the fucking, if you're not watching the games, don't be on the fucking committee. You know what I mean? How hard is it to um, watch a game? I don't understand. Yeah. All you got to do is they're paying you to watch the games. Okay. Where do I, where um, do I apply? Yeah. <laughs> where do I apply for this gig? <laughs> I'll do it for Fox. free. Well, there's a clear conflict of interest too. They put guys in there from like the SEC, the Big Ten. Probably have Condoleezza Rice on that fit fucking committee too. Uh, but folks, before we get to go in region by region, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by Merch Madness. Yes, it's March Madness, and it's Merch Madness. Uh, the contest is free to enter and uh, only open to subscribers of SGPN shows. Uh, for every SGPN uh, show you're subscribed to, you'll get bonus credits to use in the contest. Um, this is our, Mar I'm sorry, this is our March Madness contest, not Merch Madness, but Merch Madness is happening too. I was reading both at the same time. Um, but uh, use the use the code Madness for a discount in the in the merch store to get a Pick Dundee T-shirt. But also uh, join our March Madness contest where we're giving away a thousand dollar prize. And or two thousand if you're subscribed to the Sports Gambling Podcast Patreon. So go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash madness. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash madness. Hop on over there. We're also brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer-to-peer -peer social betting platform that's US based and available in forty different states. P2P social betting is a new and better way to bet. Bet directly against your friends or other users on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with verifiable outcomes. Plus, they got a ton of fun social features. They give it a feel of a betting social network, so to speak. Cut offers a lower, vague, and fully customizable odds. You can create your own bets. Cut handles the payment side of things, so you never have to chase anyone down in the streets for cash. Uh, so what are you doing, folks? Download the Cut app today or go to cut.com. That's K-U-T-T.com. Use that promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Cannabis Cabbers have been doing a lot of the... A lot of great content regarding uh, Underdog Fantasy Sports Gambling Podcast.com. But Underdog Fantasy is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. It's also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry. Pick whether your favorite player will have a higher or lower stat total in this uh, in this week's game for a chance to win big. You can win up to a hundred times the amount of money you enter in a single night. Pick between two and five players to build a pick'em entry. And obviously, the more players you add, your odds continue to raise. Uh, so uh, sign up today with uh, promo code SGPN to get your first deposit doubled up to a hundred dollars, as well as an instant pickup special visit underdogfantasy.com Once again, uh, or find them in the app store. And don't forget to register with the promo code SGPN to get your first deposit double up to a hundred dollars. Um, all right, we are back. And now let's talk about this. I love having the paper, the paper bracket, man. Oh yeah. Call me old, old school. school. Call me old school here. Now let me now, yeah, now, oldie. Now, now, what? What? But but now but now that? That I'm in, you but have now a that I'm printer. In, we do. <laughs> you have a printer. And, <laughs> and and now that I'm in my forties, hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, you uh, the, no, the first one we got the East Region. UConn, Stetson. Uh, that's the first matchup. Mac, you were telling me you think the Hatters are live. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go, Hatters. Uh, uh, no, I don't think they're live. <laughs> We have an eight nine matchup. Why someone's mic someone's someone's microwave is beeping. Uh, we have an eight nine matchup on Florida Atlantic Northwestern. Uh, the five twelve is San Diego State UAB. The four thirteen Auburn Yale. The six eleven is BYU and <laughs> Duquesne. Uh, the three fourteen is Illinois and Moorhead State. 
The seven ten is Washington State Drake. Wow, tough draw for the Cougs. Um, the two fifteen is Iowa State, South Dakota State. I probably should have went chronologically, but whatever. Uh, what was your what, what's your thoughts on on the East region there, Mac? This has got to be the hardest region. You got the Big East champion, one seed. You got Auburn, the SEC champion. You got the Big Ten champion, Illinois. And you got the Big 12 champion, Iowa State. All teams that are playing red hot. San Diego State, they played in the in the championship game, fell just short. Um, quick side note, TJ Otzelberger uh bowl, his former team, South Dakota State, and he's gotta he's gotta face him in the 215 matchup. But uh that matchup down there in the 710, I'm looking forward to the most. Wazoo and yeah. Drake. Two good, uh, good game. Two good programs. I think Drake's live. I think that's that's one upset that you circle. Um BYU Duquesne BYU is going to win by a thousand. And, uh, and then, uh, I mean, I'm interested by that San Diego state UAB game. I think UAB yeah, could give else. them a game. Terrell, what'd you think of this region? I, I think it's hilarious that UConn is the number one overall seed and probably got the toughest region. Like I have no idea which way I want to go with this region. And I'm sitting here just looking around. I, I I share the same sentiments. I think it's a really, really tough draw for UConn. And but I still think UConn dominates the region. Like that's how good I have this UConn team rated right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's true. I mean, this this region, so you have UConn, obviously Florida Atlantic, who went to the final four, San Diego State, who went to the national championship against UConn, Auburn, who just won the SEC. Then you have Illinois, who just won the Big Ten, and then yeah. Iowa State. I mean, it's this is this is by far the hardest region. Uh, Nick, right? Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. Um, I do think we could see some upsets here in the first round, but I'd be hard pressed to take anybody other than UConn to make it out. I do think they're head and shoulders the best team in the country, the most balanced team in the country. And when you look at the other top seeds, like Auburn had a great run. Do you trust Auburn to get to a Final Four? You know, they don't play these games in the jungle. Uh, I wouldn't trust Auburn to knock off UConn in a potential Sweet 16 matchup. And then, you know, Iowa State struggles offensively. And the Fighting Illini, you know, historically have not done very good in this tournament. So I do think UConn, uh, you penciled them in for me as my first team in the Final Four. Mm. Even though it's hard, but... But devil's advocate, because I always love to play it. As much as I have UConn, and I think if I have to make a pick here, I'm going to say UConn. If they go down, hell, hell's gates open because there's literally anybody in this field that can make it. You was talking about Auburn, NC Nick. I don't even think that Auburn can get past Yale and look good. So I, I think that this is a really, really wide open region. And if UConn does fall, I think anybody top to bottom, if they got in, I wouldn't be too, too surprised. I think only UConn and Iowa State are safe round one. Other than that, I could see any of the upsets happening. Uh, I think Florida Atlantic, if they beat Northwestern. Now, I, I kind of think Northwestern might beat them. Same. But <laughs> I think Florida Atlantic could give UConn a game. Am I crazy for thinking about that? For thinking that that's possible, Mac? No, because they've been there, done that. I kind of think Northwestern could give UConn a game. I think Northwestern is is just slept on. Boo Booey, guy that can control the tempo. Um, I don't know if they could beat. The problem with this region is it's in the east, and we just saw the atmosphere with UConn at the Garden. Now they're going to be in Brooklyn, and then they're going to be in Boston. They're going to be playing at home all the way to the Final Four. That is the problem. But at the same time, Villanova – in between their two national championships was having home games too. And they, and they fell short. It's hard to repeat when the targets on your back. So I don't think UConn's going to get out of the region. I I'll, I'll, it's my bold take that they will get upset. Um, I'm trying to decide whether it'll be the round of 32 sweet 16 or elite eight. Yeah. Um, all right, let's, let's jump down to real the, quick. Colby. Uh, what's up? Uh, I didn't have any input on this bracket <clears throat> at the top. I, I see a lot of, tempo matchups a lot of slow teams against a lot of fast teams i think that's going to be really interesting auburn can run like a bat out of hell and i think they play at the fastest pace out of anybody that would be really interesting i'd like to see uh what the tigers can do they ran the table in the sec tournament 
Uh, looks like they're playing their best ball of the season right now. Uh, I really like Duquesne. I, I've seen this team in person. They've got two really good guards and Jimmy Clark the third and Day Day Grant. Um, and they did it really well in the portal and just getting depth in the front court. They don't really have a great player up there, but they have plenty of guys to toss fouls around. Um, you, and then, are, hold on, hold on. Are you saying that so CJ Sullivan buys you drinks this week in Vegas? <laughs> oh hell yeah! Me, me and CJ are rooting for the Dukes. Um, <laughs> and, they're gonna fuck the Dukes up. Let's go. And then uh, a couple other things in that batch up right below them: the Illinois Moorhead State game. The Big Ten tournament champion has lost in the first round three years in a row. Um, and then Drake Washington State. I believe there's a transfer uh, on Washington State squad this year that used to play for the Drake Bulldogs. Correct. He's injured. Yes, Efu. He's out, yep. he's injured though. He's out for but, the season. True. Also, Des Moines yeah. is less than two hours from Omaha. That's that's going to be a big Drake crowd there. And South oh. Dakota State for that for that matter. They're playing a a a, a, a border uh, rivalry with or. Whatever. Border uh, battle. Border, border battle. battle. Whatever. Yes. Thank you. Um, Thanks for the help. Would love an Iowa State Drake second round. Like Nick said, local in Omaha. Yeah. That would yeah. be pretty cool. Uh, let's jump down to the West. All right. Let's talk about the West region. Uh, I'll try to go chronologically this time. It's hard for me to, to count. Uh, North Carolina is taking on the winner of Howard and Wagner. Howard's going to win that fucking game. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, DC. Yes. Represent uh, no, uh, two seed Arizona. Take it on Long Beach state. Not going to get months in the middle of nowhere. Could have happened again. Remember I had Arizona to win the national championship last year or to play in the national championship. And they lost to a 15, the opening fucking round. Uh, could, please That's Long Beach state. Princeton on the money line. Please Long Beach state. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, you did have, have them. Uh, the three seed in this conference, Baylor, taking on Colgate. Tough draw for Colgate. I was hoping Colgate would get a, yeah. would get a, you know, like just a Big Ten team where they'd have a shot because of athleticism. Um, <laughs> the, 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 they're going to get fucked up, I think, by Baylor. Uh, the four seed, Alabama, taking on 13 seed Charleston. The five seed is uh, St. Mary's taking on Grand Canyon. That game's fantastic. Well, I'm sure we'll talk about that in a second. The uh, six. 11 matchup is Clemson, New Mexico. The 7 10 is Dayton, Nevada. Uh, the 8 9 is Mississippi State, Michigan State. Uh, and that's that's the uh, the West region. Uh, NC Nick, your thoughts on the West region? Well, I just I would find it hilarious if uh, Caleb Love takes on his old team in the Elite Eight for a chance at the Final Four. Uh, <laughs> Not that I don't think that's going to happen. I think Arizona might get knocked off before then, but um, you oh. know, my two number ones, I'm only, I'm right now, I'm probably only going to have two one seeds going to the final four. It's going to be Yukon and UNC. Unfortunately, I hate to say that Terrell. Oh, oh I knew you loved me. <laughs> You're a, I he's knew emotional it. hedging. He hates Yukon and Carolina. He's most, I know what he's doing. <laughs> now, now to me, I think Nevada's going to beat Arizona in the second round. I could definitely see that. I Another think I think match, Nevada's but... going to beat Arizona in the second round. Uh, the, the only thing Mexico... Sweet sixteen, Colby. Sweet sixteen. Really? No, it's no. not. It's the second round. What second are you talking round. about? You're at the airport. Yeah. Nuva- Nevada, right? and Arizona. Yeah, second round. Yeah, they would play in the Sweet Sixteen. I think. No, no. Nevada's no. a ten seed. It's right next to. Yeah. Oh, my fault. My fault. I was thinking New Mexico. Sorry hey, about that. Some- Good now that match really Clemson surprised. and Mexico that has an upset opportunity written all over it. Yeah. Oh yeah. New Mexico's oh, yeah. gonna beat New Mexico. Yeah, gonna New Mexico's them. gonna beat them. New Mexico's gonna They're beat the them. They're the more athletic squad for sure. St. Mary's Grand Canyon is awesome. That's just an awesome game. I, yeah. I, do you have a lean on that one, Mac? You know, I'm a big St. Mary's guy. I was gonna say I may take St. Mary's out of this region. I haven't completely decided. I'm teasing towards the end of the episode, but if we do get a Baylor Arizona Sweet 16 matchup, holy shit, there will be points in there that will be playing an up tempo. Uh, the 4 4 13 matchup, those two teams are going to shoot a million fucking threes. Alabama and Charleston, it's going to be first one to 100 wins that game. So looking forward to that one. Uh, let's talk about not only did Michigan State just ridiculous seating at the nine seed, they yeah. give Tom Izzo. This is the Rocket Watts Bowl. They give Tom Izzo 
<laughs> Mississippi State. Get the Stick. fuck out of here. Spe- <laughs> Speaking of, he's not on either team right now. He's on Oakland. Too, I know. So that's I know. Hilarious. He's in. Yeah. But that, that's the other side of the bracket. <laughs> but, dude, not only do you give them love by giving them the nine seed, then you miss seed Mississippi State and have them play Michigan State. That game needs to be investigated by the gaming commissions of uh, wherever you know the same people. <laughs> what's that? They just they like, all they wanted to do was say Izzo owns March, and they wanted to give him the best opportunity to do that. It's it's just ridiculous. Come oh, on, yeah, second Christian round, man. please. Second round, Michigan yeah. State UNC matchup. I mean, that's going to be you know highly watched if they're trying to get yeah. you know a lot yeah. of eyeballs on games. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Put your tinfoil hat and, on, Nick. Put UNC your tinfoil hat on. In my twenty. In Charlotte, too. <laughs> yep. Like, uh, but, what? Yeah, that's true. In Charlotte, it's UNC. It's UNC, guys. We're we're not we're not questioning this. It's UNC. I I, I actually think Baylor could be a, a team to watch out for. Down, you know, I think Baylor, Baylor. You know, what they get well, actually Baylor New Mexico second round would be fucking awesome. That'd be an awesome matchup. Um, this this is a fun bracket. But yeah, I mean, I guess I kind of lean Carolina, but I don't know, man. I, I kind of feel like it's anyone's like that. You could convince me that Baylor makes a deep run here and wins this, wins this side. I, I could also see, I mean, I I'm higher on Nevada, which is crazy because uh, Steve <laughs> Alfred has, has done horrible no, no. things. Fade him, fade him, fade him. When you're high on Alfred, that's <laughs> yeah. Man, get your, get your date in future. Now. Um, Dave, I, that, yeah. I would just like to, Stamp the uh, approval of this is the weakest region out of the four. That's hey, what I'm saying. Real, real quick, where is this region in LA, or is it? Yeah, it's in LA. So, yeah. theoretically, if UNC, let's say, was to get St. Mary's in the Sweet 16, and then Arizona in the Elite Eight, you could argue that those would be almost road games for them. Definitely That's the Arizona point. game. The Arizona would be a true or, road game. Or Grand Canyon, buddy. They traveled. Yeah. You see them in Vegas the other night? They were fucking. Right they, they, yeah. If they'll go to Vegas, they'll go to LA. Yeah. Um, or, or New Mexico. Shit, did you see New Mexico's home crowd? Yeah. In, uh, New Mexico can get through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's, Arizona. Uh, Arizona travels like crazy. Their, their fan base is nuts. What's the game you want to see most on this on this bracket first round, Terrell? First round, yes, yeah, Clemson. It's Clemson, New Mexico, because I just want to watch New Mexico really fuck up Clemson. Like that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, NC Nick, is that is that the same for you, or is there one that jumps? Either out that or St. Mary's Grand Canyon. I think that five twelve is going to be a hell of a game. I think I think all these five twelves are going to be great games. Yeah, uh, Max, I think. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, no. Go, no. Sorry. I, I, I think that Alabama Charleston game is going to have some fireworks. Oh yeah, that's the cha 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 bowl. That's what I had circled. I it's don't know if be- Charleston has enough firepower this year, though. I think Alabama. I'm, I'm not. I don't think Alabama does time. either, though. I think, I think Alabama's Alabama is a little so much more athletic. I think Bama can get knocked yeah. off in the second round by the winner of St. Mary's Grand Canyon. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. They're gonna I'm chuck those two teams. Are gonna chuck them up. That's all I'm guaranteeing. If they go in, they go in. But it's gonna be quick pace, and they're gonna be chucking. Um. What's the one we're not seeing coming? The upset that we're not seeing coming. Long Beach be- State over Zona. Yeah. Hey man, uh, if they- <laughs> it ain't gonna happen two years in a row. It only happens to Purdue. I, hey, Marcus Sahonis, <laughs> he's he's got the capability hey, of doing it. He was good at Washington. He was good at Washington back in the day. Does um, Colgate have a chance? It's gonna be no. Charles Colgate's Taylor. gonna get ran off the floor. <laughs> I think it probably it's right. Colgate, you know who it is? Vermont, Colgate and Vermont are gonna get drilled again. <laughs> it, it's Howard. Let's go. Give me the Bison <laughs> against right. Wagner. Uh, against I don't Wagner. know about against it. Against Wagner. Oh, okay. I said. All right. Against all right. Wagner. All right. No. All right. Okay. Um, all right, look, before we uh, hop over to the Midwest, I want to tell you folks out there that the college basketball experience is brought to you by Game Time. Buying tickets to your favorite event shouldn't be that stressful. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater that's near you with killer deals on last minute tickets and their best price guarantee. You can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting hyped for the fun you'll be having at that very event. Uh, and forget planning months in advance. What's that ever done for anybody? Uh, Game Time has deals on tickets. You know who planned months in advance? Rick Patino, and he's sitting his ass at home now. All right. Uh, Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. So snag the tickets without the stress. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use that redeeming code CFBX for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. 
Uh, once again, create that account, redeeming code CFBX for twenty dollars off. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. We're also brought to you by Manscaped. We top of the morning to you. It's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, world. Look, uh, this episode is brought to you by St. Patrick's Day Shamrock Shavers Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Uh, don't just chase rainbows this year. Make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders and below the kilt care. Yeah, that's right. Say goodbye to your Clover Forest with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra and let that confidence shine bright because you've got it in you. You just got to find it. Embrace the luck of the Irish and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 20% off plus free shipping. And I look, I'll be honest. Ever since I've uh, Manscaped, I can, I can proudly say that I found my bowl of lucky charms underneath the rainbow. All right. Uh, meet your new lucky charm for St. Patrick's day. The lawnmower 5.0 ultra. The trimmer comes with two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads. One for the old classic trim Two, uh, two. Well, it's a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. You don't need to tell me. All right. And this thing is equipped with dual led spotlights. All right. You're going to be able to see everything, everything. All right. Uh, and if you're just worried, perhaps that this thing will make a mess. <laughs> fear not, fear not. You can be in the, you can be in the fucking Nile river. swimming with the crocodiles. This thing is waterproof. Not going to have a problem at all. Let's go. Um, we're good. All right. Uh, this thing is absolutely awesome. Uh, they sent us two. I know Max got one too. Um, I, got, I don't hey, know. Noah. Got me too. They said, I've yeah. got one too. Yeah. yeah we'll see, I guess they good. sent us five or uh, four. Sorry, Nick. Um, but uh, we'll get you one, Nick. All right. Good. Um, I guess I got a big ass bush right and, now. Okay. And, <laughs> hey, Nick, in their defense, I got mine last time around with the NBA show. I didn't get I it this you. time around. I'm not feeling the love. You got to keep your bush. You got to keep your bush. my take on, score, on that Hey, score? you know who does have a bush? Josh Lower34, who's saying stop with this damn advertisement. He definitely is. Yeah, yeah. over yeah. there. What are you hey. doing, Josh? <laughs> All right. Get on over there. You, you need to. Look, this is a great opportunity. $20 off, or sorry, 20% off and free shipping. I mean, that's half the battle these days. Uh, so what are you doing? The St. Patrick's day, make sure your little hairy leprechauns luckier than ever with manscaped. Um, all right, we are back and we are now talking about the Midwest. The one seed Houston's taking on Longwood Jerome Kersey's alma mater. Shout out to that former Portland trailblazer. May he rest in peace. Uh, Good luck. Two Longwood. seed. T- yeah. Two seed oh, Marquette point loss. <laughs> Two seed Marquette taking on Western Kentucky. Watch out. Watch out, Golden Eagles. You get Tyler Kolick back, might throw off the rhythm, and the tops are hot. The tops are hot. Watch out. Uh, three seed is the Kentucky Wildcats taking on the Oakland Grizzlies. Rocket Watts still finds his way. He's been in college for, for 30 fucking years. He said Midwest. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, shout out to Rocket Watts. You know, a lot of people go to college for seven years. Uh, we also have Duke, the four seed, taking on Vermont. They gave Duke a little love, giving them Vermont, giving them Vermont. They should have been playing Duquesne. What do you um, mean, Vermont? Vermont? Yeah, Vermont's gonna win that game. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, right. They're too slow. Uh, f- right. Wisconsin, right. the five seed, Wisconsin, taking on the twelve seed, James Madison. Oof. The uh, the six seed is Texas Tech taking on NC State. The Pussy Pack taking on the Red Raiders. Oh man! Uh, the seven seed Florida taking on the winner of Boise State Colorado. Great play in game, even though it Boise State should not be in the fucking play in game. Uh, the eight nine is Nebraska and Texas A and M, an old Big Twelve rivalry back in the day. Uh, Mac, your first thoughts on the Midwest. What game do you want? To, what game stands out to you? And like, yeah, what do you what do you see on this on this grid? You mean the South? No, the Midwest. No, we're talking no, about the South. South. We're, we're yeah. talking about the South. I told you it wasn't my fault. Yeah, really? no, no. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. These fucking people they gave me a shit fucking bracket. <laughs> it says That's what you get for right printing here. it out. That's what you says get for printing it out. Right here, I quit. All right. so, hey, if, uh, if it was so, electronic, it would have updated by itself. But no, you want to go get so, paper brackets. 
So my first uh, Colby, uh, I'm going to connect you uh, with all of uh, Lubbock, Texas, because we are all Texas Tech Red Raiders fans on on Thursday. So I know you're going to be saying, "Guns up, baby, let's go!" Oh um, yeah. But I, I mean, the five twelve matchup, I think everybody's got circled. We love JMU. Uh, Wisconsin kind of is that team that everybody wants to fade. So we'll see what happens. Uh, they may be the trendy dog. Kentucky draws an interesting one because you get a veteran coach that can slow down the game, bend there, and and, and muck it up with that zone. Um, but the main matchup, I mean, the 8-9 game, good God. Hoiberg, Buzz Williams, and we could potentially have, if Buzz does get by, Houston and Texas A&M, they played early, earlier in the year. This this region's cool. I, I I actually really like this region. That you got you got some you got some storylines. I mean Duke and Wisconsin potentially if that does match up, rematch of a national championship. So a lot of a lot of a lot of moving parts in this region. Who's got the best shot at knocking off Houston in this region? Uh, you think you know Noah? Putting me on the spot. Uh, I I think it's Tominaga and Nebraska if they get hot. Ooh. I think it's the Kentucky Wildcats if they get them. Uh, Terrell, what's your thoughts on the the South? Apparently, as I look into the Midwest bracket, um, yeah. What's your, what's your thoughts on this on this bracket, this side of the yeah, bracket? I, so I was always interested in where Kentucky fell, and if they ev- if they ever fell in a situation where another team's defense was going to be enough, where I felt like they were probably going to get popped and. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, maybe if they hit Marquette, but uh, Marquette kind of up in Shaka is my guy. That's my guy. But he he just doesn't get the the wins anymore in the tournament. Like it's not there, and he gets popped by some of these teams. So if it is a you know a Florida or a Boise State, I mean, like I don't know, man. So I think Kentucky actually has a pretty nice path, and I, I trust Rob Dillingham in that group. I like Kentucky's path too. I mean, I, I actually like Florida. If Florida yeah. gets Marquette now, now I do think Boise State or Colorado could beat Florida. But if Florida beats the winner of that Boise Colorado game, I think Florida could beat Marquette. No, Marquette. Gonna, yeah. Marquette is in a uh, what what a deja vu uh, type scenario. They're a two seed, uh, and the seven seed in their quadrant is red freaking hot. Uh, and if they get them, Kolick is once again hurt, not one hundred percent entering this NCAA tournament they're once again on upset alert in the second round. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, Nick, what's, what's the game that stands out to you that you want to watch most besides don't say Duke Vermont. That game is fucking <laughs> trash. Uh, All right. Give me, you know, I am happy with Duke in, in New York city for the first two matchups. You know, Duke, the Duke has a large fan base, uh, in, yes. uh, New York city that, that, that bodes well for them, even though the second game is going to be tough, especially the way Duke's been playing lately. Uh, but I kind of struggled with this, with this region. I, I might end up taking Kentucky out of it also, but I, they really can't be trusted. And honestly, Oakland was one of the teams I was eyeing as a potential upset over somebody yeah. round yeah. one. Um, mm. they, they could knock off Kentucky's, you know, so I find it hard to take a team to go to the final four when I think the first round matchup is going to be really tough, but, but I have to take somebody at, uh, out of here. Uh, it could be Houston. I mean, Houston, just cause they got beat bad. If anything that can help them refocus and re-energize for this tournament overall, I kind of like taking teams that lose in the conference tournament rather than winning it because they come in with that extra chip on their shoulder. Uh, but I can't take all one seeds either. So uh, I, I, it's going to be fascinating to see who comes out of here. I think it's a lot of good first round matchups. Patty, Patty C texts me saying, uh, JMU is going to beat the shit out of Duke. They're, so, they're winning that Wisconsin ready. game for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, the Dukes Cox, versus Duke. Cox is going to beat them. Everybody's <laughs> fucking just penciling that Duke in. Bro. This fucking staples are going to fuck JMU up. Nobody sees the staples coming. <laughs> Shout out to Pete. He says, uh, new rule. Colby's got to say three good things about each bracket. I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, the South, they did a good job. Uh, they, they did not get it wrong with Houston as the one seed. They got it right. Good work. <laughs> Very a... good work, committee. <laughs> you did not fuck that one up. Congrats also, on breathing. I, I also believe that you got you got it right with Marquette as a two seed. I think they deserve to be a two seed this year, so that's two good things. And you you did good by putting you you're, you impressed 
the uh, TV execs by putting a, and and the Duke faithful by putting them in New York City. So you did three things good there, and I I actually I am excited to see. Uh, I I think the Florida Boise State Colorado game could be very very entertaining. Yeah. Um, that's one that stands out to me. What's 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 the biggest? What, what what's the upset here? What's what's the flat out upset? You guys think it's Oakland against Kentucky? Potentially it's JMU, right? Uh, it's not. What's that opening line for JMU? I think the lines are out now. I think it's five and a half. Let me see. I mean, to Max's point, that one's like going to be like the chalky dog. That's going to be well. I wouldn't public, even lay public well. dog. That's going to be Charleston and San Diego State last year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Charleston was no, – San Diego State was a bad matchup for Charleston. James Madison's already beaten a slow Big Ten team before. Here, I'll give you the upset. NC State's going to win a game. No. Get <laughs> They're going to win a game. Get They're gonna, everybody wants it to be over. Everybody wants the magic to be over already. NC State's going to win a game. I already said Colby can't call him the pussy pack anymore. <laughs> At least oh, on I, basketball, maybe in no, football. No, that was the best thing to happen to NC State Athletics, in my opinion, because Kevin Keats just got two more years. They had, pay him a bunch, yep. they had a bunch. They had to pay him a bunch of money. They won't be relevant for the next four or five years. It'll be perfect. <laughs> be absolutely perfect. And uh, yeah, I, like I, I said, think it will be tough for them to to get back to that level. You know, after a, a few days off. I'm not sure if they're going to be my well, upset pick. Well, I know. Yeah. <laughs> they, if, right, man. If, if, if Kentucky's got to play Texas Tech, that, I think that's the kind of team that can fuck with them too now because that's a veteran team that's physical, that could slow down the game. And we know McCaslin, he's as good a tournament coach as, as anybody. So for, for what it's worth, Pittsburgh's going to be Lexington North. It will be. You are correct on that. Who else is in what, kind, else is in what kind of style is more dangerous against Kentucky? A, a, a slow it down defensive team or a, or a team that can score some points? Also? I think the scoring. That's why Wilmington got them. I feel like the scoring can can I because know, Kentucky's defense question. is so bad. Yeah. You just think, you just have to be able to, to you have to be able to score with them because you know Kentucky's going to put up eighty plus. I think you so. just have to be able to keep up with them and be able to if you to can streak in some stops minutes. together. The last five minutes. If you can defend in the last five minutes, you can beat them. As long, but you have to be able to keep serve with them for the first thirty-five too. If you can't keep serve with them, you're already out the game by the time you get there. But if you can defend in the last five minutes, you can get them. Boise State is in the play-in game. I just, I mean, the fuck is that? Also, to Terrell, I, I think their better players come off the bench. You got to build an early lead on Kentucky too. Uh, I think older teams fuck Kentucky up. I think it's the older veteran teams that mess with Kentucky. Sounds like there's a lot of ways to beat Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. I also like. Yeah, them. I, I, yeah. I, I like want to pick them. I want to pick them. Uh, well, well, when your defense is ranked 106th in uh, Ken Palm, I mean, that yeah. that gives you lots of ways to beat them. Yeah. True. Very true. Uh, look, we're going to talk about the Midwest, which I have labeled as the South uh, coming up. Uh, <laughs> but uh, before I do that, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by champ champs is hosting a free March madness bracket contest for a chance to win a thousand dollars. Plus if you host your own March madness pool on champs, you'll get an extra, you know, free entry into that thousand dollar contest. Tiebreakers are determined by who enters first though. So make sure you, uh, Get on over there right now. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash champs. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash champs. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NBA season with Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Uh, stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame bets to craft more intelligent, data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month. Uh, and st- you know, start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame bets. All right, we're back on the college basketball experience, and guys, it's grambling, right? <laughs> yeah, right. it was it was North Texas a couple years ago. It was fairly Dickinson last year. Grambling is going to be the team to do this, right? Are they going to beat yeah. Montana State? I don't know. They're red hot to end the season, but I, I'm saying who's who's getting Purdue? Is it Grambling? Is it Montana State? Is it TCU I came on here in the second and round? Said it. Last year, I came on here and said it when they get to the mountaintop, 
<laughs> they come crashing down. <laughs> and so I guess the best thing for them is that they stumbled on in and maybe they can get, grab some momentum. So maybe Purdue wins a couple of games this year. But I told you when they reach the mountaintop, it comes all crashing down for them. Yeah. yeah. And you also said that Shaka wasn't going to fall in the first weekend and he did. So, yeah, but mm. Purdue was even oh, better. Man. Yeah, a little chippy Let's at the airport. Hold on for that one. Yeah. Here we go. We're talking, yeah. We must be talking yeah. Purdue right now. <laughs> yeah, the only time Noah, Noah, do you st- do you have a brother or sister? Do you stick up for your brother and sister like you do Purdue? I do have a sister, but there you go, there you go. Then watch out, Noah. He knows where the bodies are at. Um, uh, so the one sixteen is well, it's the playing game is Montana State Grambling. So Purdue. Against Montana State or Grambling, then uh, the two fifteen is Tennessee and St. Peter's. What could go wrong there? <laughs> um, the the three seed here is Creighton. The fourteen is Akron. I'm intrigued by that game. Uh, the four thirteen is Kansas and Samford. The five twelve is Gonzaga McNeese. Will Wade, strong ass offer for you. The uh, six eleven is South Carolina Oregon. <laughs> So it was a fun season, South Carolina. The seven ten is Texas against the the playing game. Virginia, Colorado State. Talk about contrast and styles. Um, the what is it? The eight nine is Utah State TCU. Terrell, what's the first thing that stands out to you in the uh, the Midwest region here? Hmm. I was wondering where McNeese was going to land, up, land, man. I, I really want to root for this McNeese team. Kind of sick that it was Gonzaga. I've got him in the second weekend. I would love, Whoop. I would love to see McNeese go on a run. I was, I was looking for them when they. Who do you guys uh, have winning that Virginia Colorado State game? Because why do I just find that game hilarious? It's like Colorado State just runs up the court. She's all these crazy shots. <laughs> they both don't belong there. Like Colorado State yeah. should be fur- further in and Virginia should be further out. And you know yeah. what? It's probably going to go the other way. Virginia's probably going to win that one. More than likely, <laughs> Virginia's probably going to win. That's just a hilarious game. Uh, NC Nick, what, is there one that, that jumps out to you here on this on this region? That I think Kansas better watch the fuck out. You know, <laughs> yeah. If they're playing tight. And if Sanford comes out there just running and gunning, playing loose and free, you know, pushing pace, I think Sanford could give Kansas all they want. Um, Damn. And for, for what it's worth, I, I forget who said it on the CBS show that I was listening to. This is being played in Salt Lake City. Bucky Ball and Sanford, they play 9 10 deep in their rotation. Kansas not being fully healthy. I mean, that's high altitude. Kansas is in trouble. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's a that's an interesting game there. We'll see if they can put it together, but uh, um, either way, it's it's it should be a good one. But uh, NC Nick saying what uh, Sanford if they're playing uh, free spirited, hippie Olympics doesn't matter who wins because they're all losers. Um, <laughs> it's Bill Bill Walton on the call. Or is, that, is that NC Nick or is that Bill Walton? Um, <laughs> I said loose and free. I don't think I said uh, free spirited. Oh, all right. Maybe I misheard you. Uh, maybe it's me that's being free spirited. Um, uh, I think the TCU Purdue matchup of the second round stands out to me. Yeah, Mac. Oh, I know you wanted to talk about this. Your thoughts on uh, Utah State getting the eight seed? I think that's a bad draw to get TCU as the nine. Agreed, Once again, man. they did a favor. This is what I'm saying. They did a favor for Michigan State. Yeah, so I'm saying like. <laughs> And, it, it, and, and and Colby, think about what TCU's done the last two years when they've been the nine or six seed. They took Gonzaga to the wire last year, second round. Two years ago, they should have beat Arizona. So for the Utah State to draw TCU, I was like, damn, that's a fucking brutal 8-9 matchup. Um, I got a couple fo- uh, coaches coaching against their former team potentially in the round of 32. Obviously, they have to win the games. Rick Barnes potentially against Texas. Dana Altman, they got to beat South Carolina, but potentially against Creighton in the round of 32. Mm. So you, got a, you got a couple storylines. Um, I think Kansas is going to beat Sanford's ass. I, it, that was Seth Davis that said that, and fate Seth Davis season is in effect. Whenever he calls for an upset, always go the other way. So yeah. uh, I think Kansas sat their guys. They're going to be healthy. They'll have a week to prepare for Bucky Ball. I just I think Bucky Ball's size will wear down throughout the game. I think Kansas will will, will get it done. Do you guys think Akron could beat Creighton? So it's in Pittsburgh. Akron's actually pretty damn close. Yeah. 
Yeah, I yeah, I don't even. I think like his... Enrique Freeman. I like Ali Ali. I know Creighton though can score so so well. And but... and the issue is, is they have Big East Defensive Player of the Year Ryan Kalkbrenner down low, and Akron's strength is that front court. So yeah, that's going to be an interesting a bad matchup. matchup for Freeman because I think we were talking like on 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 X last night saying that you know the Max School in the first round they always do well, but I, I kind of think this is a bad matchup for Akron, which is. A shame because they're also one of the teams I was kind of thinking of for a first round upset, but I'm not sure about here. What about Oregon taking down South Carolina? Why do yeah. I feel like that's going to happen? Even though I I like the <laughs> South Carolina team, I just feel like Altman though always you know gets the thing rolling, yeah. and then you know they're as dangerous as anybody. Like where wh- that, that's the last thing I want to end with. I guess I mean I I know we got to I want to ask you guys your thoughts on this, but also I want to keep in mind last year what do we have. How many one seeds made the the final four? Zero, right? Zero. How Zero. many one seeds? Nick said two earlier. Terrell, how many one seeds do you think is in the final four this year? Minimum of one, maximum of two. Mac, what are you what are you doing with one seeds? There? I'm going one. I'm going one. That's Noah? usually the average. It's usually averages around one or two, one and a half, I think. I like Noah. two. I like two. I like two this year too. I think two is going to happen, but uh, yeah, I mean, to, to me, the, the game that I want UNC right. Like, is there nope. any Purdue? Is there <laughs> is there any question? I think it's Houston. I think it's Houston and somebody. I don't know. I gotta. I got this. I'm just reacting to this, and my reasons are all fucked up. I don't know what's going on. Uh, all of it is instant reaction, baby. Name yeah. of the show. Yeah. Um, What's the game you want to see most in that in that in that uh, Midwest region there, Nick? You know, uh, it's probably Gonzaga, McNeese, or like I said earlier, Kansas, Samford. Uh, yeah. Again, all the five twelves are fire, and I do think Samford's a live dog there. Yeah, uh, Mac. What's the one you want to see most? It's that. What is it? Oh, you're gonna go. You're just gonna go TCU and uh, Utah I, I, State. Yeah, I I think that's a that's an intriguing matchup because. Utah State's been a team that's overachieved, and it, I, from a physicality standpoint, can they hold up against TCU? TCU is a, is a unique team to prepare for because of their size and speed. So, um, I'm, I'm I think that game's great. That that screams what? It's Friday. I bet you it's gonna be like a Friday at 10 p.m. game on the East Coast. Last game of the first round. Yeah, let me ask you this: If Virginia or Colorado State wins. Can they beat Texas in the yes. second round, guys? Do you yeah, th- <laughs> sure, yeah. Virginia? It's Rodney Terry. <laughs> it's true. Well, Colby, uh, ask the question better. What's the the most likely play in guy to advance? Or is that gonna be a, a later segment? If Virginia no. wins that one, it's Shedrick revenge game too. Okay, yeah, we saw we saw Greg Sankey's comments recently saying they should expand in '96 because UCLA won the, you know, was a play-in and went to the Final Four in the COVID year with no fans. Uh, but, you know, he didn't mention VCU. With Shaka Smart, also did it because he was lobbying for more power schools, not mid majors. Mid majors have done this before, so let's just play that game. If you had to pick a play-in team to make the Final Four or Elite Eight or something, let's say Final Four, who would it be? Because I personally think if I had to pick one, it would actually be Colorado just because I feel like their roster is that good. But I don't think Tad Boyle is that good of a coach. So uh, I think that would be the one that I would I would side with. Mac, what would you what would you say there? Well, it sure as hell ain't fucking Virginia because they, they're, they're very they're, – their margin of error is Wait, very small. What do you small. mean? They won a national championship doing this exact yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, when they had – when they had <laughs> Hey, Terrell, Terrell hosts the NBA gambling podcast. There's a couple of those guys that are uh, fucking in that league. They don't have any pros on this fucking team. It's one yeah. of Tony Bennett's best coaching jobs, and we talk about it. I would go Colorado State because they have a superstar in Isaiah Stevens. I think he's the kind of guy in this madness where he could he could put the team on his back, win a couple games. We, we see it every year. Max A. Smith, Steph Curry. I'm not saying he's Steph Curry. Don't quote me on that. But in this tournament, like – it's a guards tournament. I like Colorado State's guard led by Isaiah Stevens. He might be Steph Curry. He's one of the NBA guards that is in consideration for the top of the first round. 
I ain't ever comparing anybody to Steph Curry. That's a bad yeah. I about to say that's a bold take. I, I, uh, I said uh, Mike right there. <laughs> Maybe Seth Curry. Uh, to, uh, to, Terrell, um, what, 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 what? Who do you think if at, in those play-in games? Who would you say you like best to make a? If you had to say make a deep run into March. Uh, uh, I really don't like any of them, but it's it's probably either, it's probably Boise. I think I'll go Boise. Yeah, I mean, I was really impressed with Boise throughout the year at certain points, but down the stretch, Florida lost their big man, so they could sneak. They're deep in the front court. He didn't hand logged in. Doesn't really matter too much to that team. That was a sad injury. I know that kind of sucks. They're all kind of irreplaceable. Like they're all kind of replaceable and they're all adjustable and whatever versatile. Uh, I want to ask you, you, uh, Nick and Noah, this in a second, but hold on. Mike says, is the SGPN brackets coming soon? Just joined, but it says not available until games are set. Yes, it should be out soon. Stay tuned. Hop on over yeah. there. And by the way, shout out to the 1700, almost 1800 people watching this right now. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We are the college basketball experience, part of the sports gambling podcast. Uh, network. So check out the sports scaling podcast. They're coming up later. We're going to talk uh, college hoops as well, but uh, back to my question, uh, Noah, and Nick, uh, let's go. Noah first. Who's your, who's the playing team that goes to the final four? If you had to pick one. So I'm, I'm basically going to retweet a lot. What Max said, I like Colorado state here uh, mainly because of Isaiah Stevens, but uh, in general, that backcourt is really good. Uh, you get Texas round one and then March Rick Barnes and, the second round to get to the second weekend. I like Colorado state to make a little bit of a deep run here. Nancy, Nick. Well, first off, Seth Curry carved out a decent pro career. So don't you disparage him. Okay. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he was there waiting he for is. that. He had that loaded. <laughs> he was he took from that from conversation. That. <laughs> I, I was taking That's my turn. All he heard. You know? uh, so I definitely like Boise state and Colorado as teams better than Virginia and Colorado state but they probably have a little bit of a tougher draw against Florida. Uh, but I'll still go with the team I like best out of the bunch, which is Boise. I agree with Terrell. Yeah, it's going to be fascinating. Folks, uh, we're, we got you covered. We're just getting started. Uh, just remember that, uh, what, t later tonight, Sports Gambling Podcast, just coming right up, actually. Uh, then uh, tomorrow we will be live from Wynn Studio in we, Las Vegas. We've What's got up? a couple of the topics. that you, Do you want to hit on those fun topics that I sent? Sure. I just wasn't like sure we if your, did flight, last your year? flight was leaving. Uh, let's go. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I got. I got an hour and a half. Uh, my well, flight leaves at eight fifty. First off, our final fours, right? It, yeah. Well, we're uh, Colby. Did you open up Slack, please? No. No. Oh my God, um, Colby. He doesn't do Slack. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! Yeah. I like uh, Noah's okay, idea man, though. Just straight vibes. That's how I, I mean. Do it. I run my. Show Lord, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to put together the 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 show that way it runs. Smoothly, swiftly, but Colby just. Don't I'm even on look the. At I'm it. on the. I'm on the college basketball experience. What am I looking at here? I no, know, it's not I in. Even not even in there. Okay. No, are you new? Do you expect us to be organized, dude? I sent it in our group chat with me, Mac, and Colby it, too. It's Mac, so can, funny, Mac yeah. can attest to this as well. Like oh, I saw it. I got. Holy it. moly! Noah tries he's not, so hard. Like you know he's, he's so hard. He has everything labeled. I'm trying my best, guys. I am. He just does. We I've got to be I'm, frustrating to be Colby's producer. <laughs> this year, I'm sitting in an airport doing this. Last it's year, funny. I was in a car on a highway in Tennessee doing this. You know, it's <laughs> gosh. But to be fair, it's not like I was sitting at home jerking off. All right, this this was the, I, I've been doing shit off fucking day. I had to go pick up family from the fucking Dude, airport. Took I me three it. hours. Took me. I did three it two different. Hours. I sent you the schedule two different ways. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. <laughs> anyway, okay. So what are we talking here? All right, I'm the here. second the you. second group. Cinderella's and Dark Horses by Noah Beanick. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> who's the Cinderella you like on this? And uh, I don't know, Noah. You you lead the way here. Who's your who's your who's your well, Cinderella? I, dude, I'm in the air. I'm I don't have my normal setup. No, I, I'm honest, saying who the f I I can I can do this, but who the fuck are you taking as your Cinderella? All right, so. Uh, All right, I got Matt. I got to pull up the bracket, dude. <laughs> like, holy shit! No, Giving yeah, me I, shit. He doesn't even have a Cinderellas. All right, well, uh, <laughs> Cinder, Matt, Cinderella. 
Cinderella, yeah, yeah. and I wish they had not won the Mountain West tournament because I kept tuning the horn. I said New Mexico is better than their record. They got worn down in, in the in the in the Mountain West gauntlet. But I think the same thing about Colorado State. I thought Colorado State got worn down in the gauntlet. I thought you look at it in the non-con. They beat Creighton by 20. They had a strong non-conference. I think both of those two Mountain West teams, if you're making me choose. I will go to New Mexico because I love those guards. I love House. I love Mashburn. I love Dent. They got Biggs inside, and they got a Patino on the sideline. So why not? If it's Slick Ricky ain't going to be there, why not Little Ricky <laughs> yeah. making a charge in March? Let's go, Lobos, Cinderella. NC Nick, where are you going with your Cinderella? You know, I could see Drake making a, a push to the Elite Eight. Like I said, they have two basic home games to get to the Sweet 16. You got the, the, you know, the, the, the father, the coach, the son, the player, DeVries. DeVries had an awful game, the worst game of his college career against Miami, and they still almost beat them round one last year. So ball bounces the right way. I think Drake can knock off a couple teams here. Colby. What's I'll up, I'll go with McNeese. I already said McNeese gets to the second weekend. That's that's my team. So does a Cinderella? What what defines a Cinderella? Will it just a double down? You gotta make speed? it to the elite eight. You gotta I make, agree. It, make it to the elite eight and but, one. But can it be one backed by millions of dollars? Like can it be a double digit seed? That that's not that's been to Final Fours say in the past decade or so. What like a Syracuse? I'm thinking the Oregon Ducks. Yeah, that's not thinking, that's not a that Cinderella count, when right? I think of Cinderella. Yeah, though. well, I'm just saying from a yeah, seeding standpoint. C, that's yeah, a high yeah, major. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah All right, fucking it Steve league, Alford, Nevada. Steve Alford, Nevada. <laughs> oh, Let's go. I never thought I would hear him say I've been that. The health of data now. <laughs> <laughs> you have lost your mind. Steve, don't don't fuck me over, Steve. You've done it before. Now you can totally redeem yourself. Um, Roger in the chat asked, are we betting NIT games too? Yes. You're goddamn right. And C- <laughs> uh, the woods. <laughs> I almost said CBA. Oh, All right. Remember the CBA? Um, did, yeah. What's up? Did Raul give out his Cinderella? That he, was, uh, he he was, looked uh, deep in thought. Uh, I was um, going there I'm, to, yeah. I'm going back and forth, and I hate to agree with NC Nick, but I think it's Drake. I think yeah. it's Drake. Drake, I, I think, I, but I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for that run from out of that conference for a while of that one team that's just going to continue just to go and win games, this really good conference. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm with Drake. I, I thought it was going to be Indiana State, but I still do think it's Drake. Yeah, I like that Drake one, too. I was eyeballing that. Then Nick said it, and I had to scratch it off. Prick bastard. Um, uh, all right, let's go to the next the second Segment board in that one. Unofficial final four prediction. Hold on. No, no. <laughs> holy, holy moly. Uh, final four without top four seats, right? That's next. You have to go all dark horses. No, that was the, the, the first one says just final four picks. Oh, what's the second the, one says everyone's what's the second one? final four picks without one to four seats. Oh, yeah. My bad. I the, do like the, that the, exercise. That's the second, exercise. The second one was how many double digit seeds win in the first round. Oh, yeah. I did miss that one. My bad. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two. I'm on seven. Give me, give me seven double digit seeds winning the first time. Man, does Charleston really beat Alabama? Like, is that is? Can we talk about that for a second? This Charleston yes, team can score, man. I'm not on that. I'm on Bama, actually. I'm on Bama. Yeah. Really? All right. I got I got oh, eight no. double digit teams winning. Just because I have to one up Noah. <laughs> I only had six. You can call me chalk. Yeah, chalk I'm, at six. Six. <laughs> I'm, at I'm six. chalk this year. It's because all the big twelve teams are single digits. Um Yeah, right now, hang on. I'm at five, but hold on. One more. One more. Let's see. Six. Okay. Yeah, I'm at six. I'm at six as well. I'm at six as well. Yeah. Colby, do you have a contest to uh, announce? Yeah, Colby, yeah, yeah announce here, something before next. we get fired. <laughs> uh, what, what are we talking about here? Did, did something go over my head here? Um, oh, I already did. I already did announce it. 
Okay. Um, yeah, we already announced that thing. We, we fired away. I'll read it again to the fine people out there. 1800 people watching. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> we got a March madness contest. This is March madness. And uh, the contest is free to enter and only open to subscribers of SGPN shows for every SGPN show you subscribe to. You'll get bonus credits to use in the contest. It's a bankroll style contest and the winner and winner take all thousand dollar prize or a $2,000 prize. If you're subscribed to sports gambling podcast, Patreon, go to sports gambling podcast.com slash madness to enter that sports gambling podcast.com slash madness. Um, all right. Uh, Noah, let's go back to our final four projections here. Um, so you want, you want the, the higher oh, seats first. Yeah. The first one's going to be the real one. Sorry. There's PA going on. Yeah. Uh, who do they got? Can you ask, can you ask them? Um, <laughs> let's go to me. The first ones, if we do it, if we're, if we're just doing our actual real final four, Houston's in for me, Houston's in. I do think UConn is going to lose, but the question is who comes out, man, I got no idea who's fucking coming out of that, that East region. Um, I'll go Iowa state, Iowa state, Houston in the final four. Then I'll go Carolina and man. Fuck TC. No, I did TCU last year. That fucked me. Um, let's go. Let's go, Creighton. Fire away, Mac. I got the Cyclones in the top region in the East. <laughs> Down in the left hand corner in the West. I got the Arizona Wildcats getting revenge from their embarrassment last year in the dance. In the top right, what is that, the Midwest or South? Sorry, South. I got the Houston Cougars bouncing back after their embarrassment last night. And in the final one, I went back and forth. I think he's going to see his former team, and I think he's going to – He's going to get back on some of these March Madness demons. Give me Rick Barnes and the Tennessee Volunteers to get to the Final Four. What? Rick Barnes, <laughs> baby. Everybody wants to fade Rick Barnes. This is his year, baby. Trying to say Jesus Christ can't hit a curveball? Sorry. <laughs> I, I was trying to play this. Well, yeah. well, I don't get the rain the end cold. But uh, Noah, where are you at? Where are you going here? Final Four. All right. You had time uh, to study this. I've I've one hundred percent probably going to change this within the week. Uh, tune into the college basketball experience and sports gambling podcast throughout. Um, but I'm going to go with UConn. I am going to go with. Uh, I I have UConn. I'm going to go with. Damn! Spit it out. Michigan. That bottom, that bottom left <laughs> tough. portion tough. of the bracket. Yeah, I, I hadn't looked at it yet. And I was doing. I was uh, the, the, the Iowa State. Um, it's tough. I, I, I'm with Beanick on this one. It's tough. I didn't know what the fuck it say. No, well, why besides, should anybody besides, listen to you right now? Say something yeah. with conviction, damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I I know I know the three I know three <laughs> regions. So on the right side, I can tell you this. I got Kentucky and Purdue on the right side in the Final Four. I have UConn on the top left. The bottom left is going to be a shit show. And I think I'm going to go with. <laughs> oh. All right. St. Mary's is going to hold a placeholder for me. I do not love go. that pick. Uh, shout out to our right. Give us 10 bucks. Colby add slick Rick to your list of pussies avoiding the NIT. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, by the way, we do have breaking news. The first program to opt out of the NIT, yeah. the Pittsburgh that was hilarious. Panthers. Oh no, no, no! God. It was St. John's. It was St. John's. No, well, no, the other first. the other day it was Ole Miss, right? St. St. John's first... opted out of the NIT before Pitt did. Let me yeah, but the, time, the first the first was yesterday <laughs> with Ole Miss, and who was the other team? Indiana. It, yeah, Ole Miss, Indiana. What? What so a fucking even, joke! Neither were even going to make it, so that's why they opted what a out. Fucking <laughs> joke! 
bunch of fucking losers. Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Indiana wasn't even going to get the invite. Um, Save the NC, uh, Terrell, what's your final four? All right. UConn, UNC, Kentucky. And you know, it's a rite of passage. It is a rite of passage to get South Carolina to a final four. They, you're, you're, they're going to do it. They're going to do it because that, wow. I think that is the, that's the region where I think anybody can go get it. I really think anybody can go get it. There. Mac so is fuming. I'm going to go ahead and go South Carolina. I already got a final four there. <laughs> I beat Duke on the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, NC Nick, what, what's that final four? UConn, UNC, Duke. No, I'm joking. Um, Kansas. <laughs> yeah, all the nah, blue Kentucky <laughs> and Creighton. Oh, you like my Creighton play after all. <laughs> I did. Talking shit, and then boom. <laughs> uh, all right, now let's do the fun. This, this is the uh, – no, yeah. no, this is a great exercise here. It is. We so do fun. the – we do our final fours without one to four seeds. Um, I will lead the way here and say uh, the first, the East bracket, which I, st I still think this is the East. Um, give me. Uh, give me. Uh, give me Drake. <laughs> I think Drake can make it. I think Drake can make it. I like. Uh, I like the, I like them to beat Washington State, and then who knows what happens with the Iowa State game? You know, um, I guess it's better than the north side of that bracket, but uh, or that part of the region. But uh, in the west, it's no, it's Nevada and Steve Alford. Let's go, <laughs> give me that all day. In the Midwest, uh, let's go with Florida, Florida in, in the Midwest. Um, in the, oh, I'm sorry. That's the South. I'm sorry. In, in the, uh, in the Midwest, I will then take, uh, it's, it's, it's TCU again. <laughs> Give me these bastards again. Uh, <laughs> hey, run it back. uh Mac, what, what are you doing here? Rise and shout. The Cougars are out. BYU in the East. They make a bunch of threes on their way to the final four. Uh, in the West, I almost went this. I know Noah, or you struggle with it. I like St. Mary's. I had St. Mary's as a potential Elite Eight team. So St. Mary's, the Gales, knocked down the door just like San Diego State did. Give me the buzzsaw in that other region because we've seen they can be as good as anybody, but they can also be as shitty as anybody. So high ceiling, Texas A&M. And one last ride for Dana Altman, Oregon Ducks in – the, he doesn't I get like past the first round, Mac. I like that one. <laughs> They're getting it done against the Cox. I Lock like that right one. now. <laughs> hey, you see line? this right here? That, that is an SGPN bracket. The fans are asking. Beautiful. Get yourself on over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash madness and enter to win $1,000 or $2,000 if you sign up, if you're subscribed to Sports Gambling Podcast Patreon. Hot off the presses, and look, the, the regions are correct. There we go. <laughs> Let's have the battle. Let's go. Um, and don't forget, Sports Gambling Podcast show is coming up next. But, uh, yeah, where are we at? I'm sorry. Uh, where, where Mac, are we at right and, yeah. Mac and who have given out their picks? Mac. Just Colby and Mac so far. All right. All right. Terrell? What? Uh, your, your, uh, your final four projections from Seeds. <laughs> That are uh, higher than four seeds. Higher than four seeds. Uh... I have mine ready. If yeah, okay. You, you need to. Okay. I'm not ready. I don't know what Terrell's doing over there. Uh, top left portion of the bracket. Give me Duquesne. Bottom left portion of the bracket. I already had St. Mary's in my final four. I'll stick with that for right now. Uh, top right portion in the south. I like Florida. And in the bottom right portion, give me McNeese. Go Pokes. This guy is Duquesne shit. This fucking <laughs> CJ Sullivan. He, Jesus. Didn't he play baseball right outside Pittsburgh? Yeah. Is that why? That, that's what it is. Uh, Either that, he's a huge fan of the Bombs Down Under the, podcast. He's going to suck him off. The, uh, the Duquesne one's yeah. throwing him off the scent for Florida, too, in there. Uh, I, shit, I was laughing at the fucking weirdo over Noah's right shoulder looking at his bracket. <laughs> it's like, who the fuck's this jackass? Uh... 
Uh, Terrell, you, you good? You ready? You ready? Or should I yeah, go to Nick? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's, go. So, let's, fi- let's fire. Drake, if it had to be, uh, New Mexico. <laughs> New Mexico. Yeah. I like that New Mexico angle. Yeah. Yeah. I want in New Mexico. Uh, which one, which region is this? Uh, you said one through four. I'm going with oh JMU, JMU. We deserve a JMU run. We deserve it. And then South Carolina, Matt. Come on, Lamont Paris. Let's go Gamecocks, <laughs> Columbia. I, I'm Come a on. hater. I'm a hater. I'm a hater. Oh, he's I'm faded afraid. them. I would love to know. You know how Tally site keeps records. We gotta. We gotta. I gotta hack <laughs> oh, in there yeah. and see Max. <laughs> that one's gonna South be Carolina. so bad. The only time I cover is when they lose by 50 to Auburn and Alabama. I'm like, well, at least I made up my points, except they don't count for as many wins. <laughs> when they, they only when have, they like, what, six them? losses all year. I guarantee you, you're you're the opposite of their record. Um, Probably. But... They, them and Pitt, those are the two fucking kids. <laughs> and see, Nick, where are you going on this? All right, Drake, Grand Canyon, Boise, Gonzaga. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Hey. The Zags, a little five seed there. So the there winner of that Gonzaga McNeese game is making a run. That's the answer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, all right. No, anything else you want to add? Nope. All Great right. show, guys. That was a lot of fun. Sports mm-hmm. Gambling Podcast is coming up next. We're talking. Oh, Arch Madness. Hop on over there. Make sure you look. We got 1,900 people watching this shit. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. We talk college basketball year round on this show. Every single night of the season, we are live. Uh, so we're not we're not stopping here. And uh, look, give our guests a follow here. NC Nicks on Twitter at NC underscore underscore N-I-C-K. Uh, Terrell Furman Jr. is on Twitter at really rail underscore underscore. Check out, all, you know, NC Nicks, the college football experience. Uh Obviously, this this the college basketball experience. Terrell, the the NBA gambling podcast, the WNBA gambling podcast, the NFL gambling podcast. Uh, Noah Beanick, live from the airport. Um, so if you happen to be at the airport right now, make sure you get the guy a scotch and soda or something. He told me he drinks anything. Oh, I, I, I'm I, I'm boarding my plane in 20 minutes. The perfect time for a scotch and soda. Uh, th- there you go. Um, give him a follow on Twitter at Noah B 77 underscore Moneyline Mac is on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. Subscribe to the big 12 college experience, the Ryan and Russ show. And don't forget Noah B Nick does great work with the college baseball experience. Uh, and yeah. All right. We're coming up uh, live after this. Boom. Big 12. Just, just, yeah, there you go. Big, check out the Big 12 Experience coming out live. Sports Scaling Podcast coming up next. Check out the Bottom Line Bombs. Check out the FCS College Football Experience. What the hell am I forgetting? There's a lot. Uh, uh, what, what, what's uh, the Golf Gambling Podcast? The NASCAR Gambling Podcast? Look, I'm a company guy. All right? And I got a bracket with all the regions. I'm, gonna, I'm about to dominate. About to fucking dominate. Until next time, folks. This is the College Basketball Experience. I can't wait for the play in games. You better start thinking about yours and we out of here. I lost a bet on the super bowl. So I had to dive in and crawl around through the snow. Don't believe me? Believe me, there's a video. We made it to promote March 5th and then we did the show. Before March, there was a winter to be lived through. And snow fell on the D.C. metropolis. In some other cities, this wouldn't be big news. But where I live, it felt like an apocalypse. Not the kind of zombies or the wrath of God. But the kind where Mother Nature doesn't laugh at all. I didn't laugh at all. I saw the sky smoking the blood. Now waiting for the ash to fall. Traffic stalled for a few weeks capital hill of snow taking up a parking space a couple notches on the beltway ain't unique but higher increases get more than your heart to race i mean the rats were frostbitten they lost it risking their lives just to make it to the office exhausting caustic cold front rose up through the mid-atlantic and did its damage detective bailing didn't expect a camera and brought a gun to a snowball fight i know my rights in the season of mood swing some of us winning some of us losing that really clock's been ringing since winter i hope it's not telling me i was born to lose i lost my temper but i found my center when you need to so i can stay warm with you that 
Fuck your clock spin, Lincoln since winter. I hope it's not telling me I was born to lose. I lost my temper, but I found my center. When it winter, so I can stay warm with you. So I can stay warm with you. So I can stay warm with you.